everyone. How are you? How are you? This is the Taryn Lamb Show, season number nine, episode number seven. I hope you are doing well. This is the Taryn Lamb Show, again, season number nine, episode number seven. I'm Taryn. How are you? How are you doing today? Um, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to get my guest on here in a minute. But we are here most Tuesdays. I say most because we used to be here every Tuesday, but... If you've been following me for a while, you know that that kind of tapered off a little bit because I'm a one-man, woman band. So, this is the Taryn Lamb Show. Please make sure you are sharing the show. If you um, want to be on the show, I would love to have you. No story is too big. No story is too small. I would love to have you on the show. This show is about sharing stories. This show is about giving people a platform just to share their journey and for others to listen to their journey. So I would love to have you on the show. If you know someone who should be on the show, I would love to have them too. Just make sure you hook us up via whatever method you know me from. Even if it's just Instagram, you can send me a DM. Um, I do want to do some solo shows this summer, so I'm going to just do some things that I've just kind of been wanting to talk about. So if you have any ideas or anything you want to talk about, um, let me know. I'm going to do that this summer and then back with guests in the fall. Um, we're not finished yet for this season, but just kind of giving you a, a heads up. And so, um, yeah, make sure you're liking the show on Instagram. Make sure you're following the show on YouTube at I am Taryn Lamp. And make sure you're um, subscribing on Apple Podcast at The Taryn Lamp Show. So let me get my guest in here. Let me see Celeste. Nine. I was like, what is it? Season number nine, episode seven. Thank you so much for joining me. So Celeste, let's see. Is it letting you come on? There you are. Hello. <laughs> hey, beautiful. How are you? I am good. How are you? How, how are you, Miss Butterfly? Listen, I, I'm doing good. I love, I'm doing good. Thanks, Celeste. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. You look so great. Turn my, I'm You're turning okay. my volume up here. There we go. Okay. Now I can hear you. So beautiful. How was your day? Today was a good day. Okay. It was it was a really good day. Um, I work today, work from home, and then um, I'm doing four 10-hour days, and then so I'm off on Wednesday. So it was like one day back, and then, hey, one day off. So it was oh, good. Oh, that's yeah. great. That's good, because tomorrow you're you're kind of, you can take a little moment, I'm, right? Because tomorrow, tomorrow's Wednesday. I was like, I'll tomorrow's take Wednesday, 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 right? <laughs> yeah, tomorrow's, I know. Listen, already, we have gone through the week that quick. So, yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And so um, if you're starting to listen or if you're going to listen to this later, just to let you know, we're talking to Celeste today about her story, but the show will also be on YouTube. So she'll be able to share it there. And then if you want to listen later, it's also going to be under on Apple Podcasts and Spotify too. So all the platforms, this will all be on um, later if you want to listen later. And so Celeste, give me... Um, yeah, give me that. I, I remember talking to you and I remember taking it all in mm -hmm. and it's a lot. Um, <laughs> yes. Right. But, it's but, it's but, it, but, but I love, that's why I love your caption, right? Mm -hmm. You're starting, you know, is this, is this it as a caterpillar and now you're living as a butterfly. Yeah. And so just share with us a little bit about those first, um, I guess, caterpillar moments, right? Your okay. journey. Okay. Oh, wow. So first Caterpillar moments for me, um, I grew up in, you know, big, big city. Um, I'm from Southern California. So um, LA is LA is my home, my big city there. Mm -hmm. And I think just starting out, um, it's funny because like my journey, I always feel like begins in pieces. And I remember pieces of childhood. I don't remember you know, full blown, hey, you know, this, this started here, got to this point, it's always broken up for me. And I feel like just started out where there were so many taboos, things that weren't mm -hmm. talked about. So I initially started, I feel like just childhood, you know, in that caterpillar stage was like, okay, wait a minute, you got to stay here, you can't come out, you got to kind of stay hidden um, type of thing. Um, I grew up in the early 70s as you know as when i was born so there was just so many things that weren't talked about then so just from even you know how my mom you know how she was and um and she dealt with mental health and so back then it was like uh oh don't talk about it we see it all going on here but no one can say anything mm -hmm. about it 
And so I learned really early to kind of, hey, keep it all in. You know, we can't, we can't talk about what's going on, even though it's, our world is kind of crashing and burning around mm -hmm. us, but couldn't, couldn't talk about it. So, yeah, so that, those were the early, early days. So how do you think, um, I know, you know, some of your journey, how do you think that started to form you as, you know, a teenager and, you know, and as a grown woman, right? Like you had all these things um, mm -hmm. when you were a child and we all know that we're all affected by the things we do, you know, that happened to us as children, good, bad, or indifferent. Mm -hmm. um, how did that kind of form, you know, Celeste as we know her as a teenager or Celeste as we know her now today? I think it formed me as a teenager starting out. Um, I wasn't really sure of who, who I was. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, and I know that's pretty common, you know, Hey, we're teens, we're trying to figure it out. Um, but for me, it was, Hmm, never just kind of having that freedom to express, you know, who I was. I think I kind of like, Hey, let me, you know, try all to try to do all these different things, you know, being in high mm -hmm. school, being a cheerleader. It's like, okay, I want, I want to be out there. I want to, I want to grow and I want to, you know, be that butterfly, but it's like, uh -uh. no, I got, I got so much baggage here that I'm okay. carrying you know, from, from that childhood, from the traumas, um, you know, that I experienced as a child. So um, I wasn't really able to, you know, take that on. Mm -hmm. I wasn't, I was, eh, uh -uh. you know, people are going to look at me, people are going to, okay. you know, people are going to have these opinions mm -hmm. about me. So I was like, no, I, I can't, I, I have to stay hidden. And I mm -hmm. kind of found um, different ways, you know, to stay hidden. So, so you think you, um, cause I, I think sometimes, you know, these things that we go through, we're aware of them, right? And sometimes we're not aware of them, mm -hmm. right? But it sounds like you were pretty aware that, you know, this something was different. Yeah. Is that the case? You're, you're right. Yep. I was definitely aware that something was different. Mm -hmm. definitely. Um, and for me, it was um, sexual abuse mm -hmm. that I experienced as a child. And it, it was never talked about, never brought up. I don't even think I even realized what had happened to me until I became a teenager. Mm -hmm. That's kind of mm -hmm. like when, because I think like, you know, your hormones, everything that's, that makes you you is now coming out. Okay. So you're kind of hit. It was almost like a, a car crash. It was like, mm -hmm. whoa, wait a minute. So now all these memories are coming back just as I am growing in you know to who i am you know as a teenager so it's like wait a minute this happened to you wait a minute um the stuff with your mom you know um all those things happen but now now i'm really you know dealing with it or not dealing with it you know i think it just um it created more fear more introvertedness mm -hmm. more um more people pleasing okay and that that's who i was i, I was this this great people pleaser so then how did you morph out of it or are you morphing out of it let me say still me okay okay yeah and, and, and that's the thing too um when you've had those type of traumas and mm -hmm. um and abuses it, it's not just one thing right. that allows you to, you know come out of it it has been um a journey mm -hmm. and i feel like um once i was was married and you know now i have you know, four amazing children of my own. Whoa. So then I was really forced to really start looking, mm -hmm. you know, at who, who the person that I wanted to be and, um, and changing not only, um, for them, but for myself. Um, so that's when I, I really started the journey. Um, the first time I started counseling, um, uh, was yeah. when I was married. Um, I had even in, in that marriage, the traumas that were there, you know, um, yeah. so yeah, so those were, that's, that's when the healing started, okay. um, okay. during, you know, my marriage and, you know, really, um, seeking out counseling, um, was the first time I even dealt with all of those, um, you know, past, um, childhood issues. So do you think, so like if someone is going to listen back, go back and listen to this mm -hmm. later and, or listen to it on podcast what would you tell them because what i'm hearing you say and what i've heard from other people and just we all have something right yeah. 
Um, but what I'm hearing you say is, you know, you had to work your way through being okay with not being okay, as they say. Yeah. So what would you tell someone who is either A, in this position, and they might listen to this in silence, and you and I will never know, yeah. or they might be um, in, in silence now or trying to work their way through it mm -hmm. um, in silence, right? Because I'm assuming, or let me not assume, I think, you know, we tend to hold it to ourselves even going mm -hmm. through the journey. So oh, what would you tell someone if, just, if they were listening? If they do listen? Um, I think the first thing I would tell someone is is to never give up is to no matter no matter what what point you are at whatever place you are at um in life whether you you deal with it early whatever your traumas are whatever your um abuses are whatever um things that you're holding inside because you're scared for other people to know um know that there is no time limit on it know that you know what when you're ready when you're ready to deal with it, that's when it's that's when it's okay. You know, I think sometimes it's like, oh, you know what, you got to deal with it here, or or this is how it should be done. I, I don't I don't feel like there there's a timetable on it. I feel like when you, and I, I, and I feel like we all have that thing inside of it's like, you know what, I, I can't do this anymore. This this is not working for me. We're we're gonna hit that brick wall, where it's like life is crumbling. You know, as as I know it, everything that I want to be. I'm stuck. I'm, I'm trying to do all these other things to fill this void and it's not happening. And to me, that's the time. That's the time to go out and be like, whoa, I, I need to talk to someone. I need to get some help. I need to expose those, those, those demons, mm -hmm. those traumas that have happened. So now, wow, now you can start to fly. Now you can start to grow. Now you can start to really experience the life that you want. Otherwise, it's just, mm, you're existing. Okay. And, and that's what I felt. I felt like I existed for, for more than 30, 30 plus years. Mm -hmm. that, that's what I did. I existed. So, hey, when, it, when you get to that point when you can't do it, you're like, I can't, I can't live like this anymore. That's the time. That's the time to reach out, to get help, to talk about it. So, so first, let me tell you something. This is so random. I'm going to get back to your story, but <laughs> okay. my, 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 my phone is not telling me what time it is. So I have no idea. It used, it's, it's just staying down at the bottom. Like we're telling people you're live and I don't want to restart mm -hmm. us because we're on such a good mode, but sure. I have no idea what time it is. So I'm just going to talk until I don't, okay. until I, in my thinking it's seven 30. It usually, okay. cause I have this feeling that people are listening and, and I don't know it mm -hmm. because I know the normal people that come on and mm -hmm. and it's not showing me. So I, I don't know what my phone is doing. I have no idea what time it is. So I'm just gonna keep talking okay. until we okay. we're good. It, until We're until the my heart leads me. So yeah. I apologize if I go over a little bit because I just don't know what time it is. No. So when I said to you um just now when you were explaining about getting help and you were explaining about you think it's now the time to do it and you were explaining just what I just asked you. When you go back and watch this, you're going to see that you light up <laughs> okay. because you go from you're telling your journey mm -hmm. to, okay, now it's, I can see you getting out of it. Yeah. Like you're lighting up when you're telling that part of the story. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's exciting. And when you tell people to start getting help and when you tell people that it's okay mm -hmm. and you're still people when you've had it, you know, and that's enough. Um, and I think that's big because, you know, that can come at any time for anybody, right? Um, I l love that you said it's okay that it came for you as an adult because people think we have to all have it all figured out by X, Y, and Z time. And I don't think that's the case. I think we just figure it out when we figure it out. Um, but then I guess my, my question is now, you know, now you're in, you, you know, you were in the caterpillar phase, then you were in the morphing phase of going through your journey. You're going through, you're getting help. And it's okay to still be in there. Um, mm -hmm. But I feel like, or you can tell us, uh, you know, once you've kind of crossed the line, if you will, like, 
you're on the other side of morphing and you can start to see those wings start to pop and the sun starts to shine, you know, I guess, did you know you were getting there or was it a time and a moment where you were like, I, I'm kind of understanding this and now I can and start to blossom and I feel safe. Um, was there a moment or, or what did that look like for you? Where your wings were like, yeah. Wow. Um, I, or maybe not. That that's a really good question. <laughs> like, okay, um, maybe, maybe was there a, mm. or a time in, in you know where you looked back and you said you handled this situation differently because I know that I've I know that I'm on my path. You know, maybe there was a situation where you handled it differently than than the caterpillar would have. Yeah, I I think the moment for me was when. And I started to stick up for myself. Okay. And I started not to be that people pleaser anymore. When I, I wasn't afraid to, of what other people thought of me, mm -hmm. that that's when I knew I was like, whoa, this is different because before it was about what you wanted from me, you know, and, 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 um, you know, and in my marriage, it was like that. It was like, okay, I need you to be this person. I need you to, to act like this, dress like this, look like this. And if you don't, I, I can't accept you for who you are. Who, who you are is not okay with me. And, and that was, I felt like that was my whole life. That was just my whole life. Who I was, it didn't seem like anyone was okay with that. So I had to be what they wanted me to be. So the minute I started, and I, I would say this has probably been the last 10 years, is that, that metamorphosis now mm -hmm. where, okay, the wings are coming out. It's like, you know what? No, 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 no. Who I am is enough. Who I am, the way God made me oh, is exactly. absolutely okay. And so that, that's starting to stick up for myself. That's starting not to shrink when people weren't okay, you know, cause I, I, I lived that life of trying to make everyone okay. And, and, and that was, that was crushing. That was breaking me. That was, I, I was like, I, I can't, mm -hmm. I, I can't make everyone okay. That that's not my job to make everyone okay. I'm like, if I can make me okay, wow. Then, then Hey, everyone is going to be who they're going to be, but making mm -hmm. me okay allows me to live this life the way that I'm supposed to live it. So um, that's it. Can you see that chicken scratch? <laughs> I can see it. Oh, you, you're asking me what time? No, it says who, oh. who I am is enough. Ah, I see it. Okay, I see it. I see it. I see it. Um, yeah, that's why I was like when you when I told you earlier I'm coming. I'll be there in four minutes. I always get my little note. Mm -hmm. I always get my little thing because it's like that's. I always take one nugget and I think you know that's just right, right? Yeah. Like who I am is enough is enough and i and, think that's a good um like you know like you can see that moment when you just w that one moment in history where you're like you know what stop mm -hmm. who i am is enough right now who i am is enough in yes. this situation yeah and, you know i still think to your point there's you know i'm spiritual as well so you know you, you got to do the right, right thing by by people you know oh yeah um you also think like when you think like who I am is enough and you can realize that moment where you're like, I'm going to start practicing that. Mm -hmm. Right. Because it takes practice. I do believe. Um, Cause you go back and forth between, you know, like who I am is enough and am I enough? You, I think you settle back until one day you settle in and you're thinking, you know, I am enough. Yeah. who I am. Who I am. Enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and so do you have any idea what time it is? I have no idea. It's, I feel weird. It's, yep. Um, remember, I'm East Coast, so I'm 849. So you're, seven. yeah, you would be 740. Yeah. So we got, some, we got 10 minutes. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Like, it's, it's the not. weirdest thing because can you, what is it, like, can you see, can you see anybody on or is it, it's all my phone? I think it's my phone. I do. I see some people on and, you know, this is my first live. So this is so new for me. I'm like, yeah. okay. I'm trying to. So I.
anything. So thank you guys for joining. I have no idea. Thank you all for joining. Thank you for listening when you're going to listen on Apple Podcasts. Thank you for joining us. This is the Taryn Lamp Show. It's so weird because I have no idea. And, and people come on. I know how I have some regulars that come on my side. So thank you all for listening. Thank you all for joining. Please make sure you're going to Apple Podcasts and subscribing. Listen to this story and a lot of stories. This whole interview, the video and everything will be on YouTube too at I am Taryn Lamp. And uh, yeah, if you'd love to be on the show, I would love to have you. This is season number nine. I've been doing this since COVID, episode number seven. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And Celeste is sharing with us about existing as a caterpillar, but living as a butterfly. And just sharing with us her journey of just kind of learning that she is enough mm -hmm. and what that looks like for her. And most of all, helping other people, you know, when they're listening, and in her in her own life, you know, come through their own journey of being caterpillar caterpillar to butterfly. Yeah. Um. So so now that you're a butterfly, <laughs> I like that. Um, I like that. Um, the butterfly. I love it. I'm gonna use that. I just love it. I love it. Um. When I said when you when you send it to me, I was like, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I, you know. Um. What's the future hold? Woo. Okay. Another another good question. Okay, you got you got me got me thinking here. Okay, uh, wow, what does the future hold? Um, I think the future holds more than I can imagine. Honestly, Taryn, I I think the future holds more than than I can can grasp. Mm -hmm. More more than more more than I can. Um, more than I can dream, I think more, more than more than I want or 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 believe it can be. Um, I, I think sometimes for me, I've I've because I'm so analytical, I can like put it in a box, you know. This way, I can kind of keep it and shape it, and I can I can see it. But having learning to let go and like I said, being that butterfly, I'm like, wait a minute, hmm, maybe it's not how I think it's gonna be. You know, and I want, and I want it. I want to dream bigger than what I do. Um, my um, amazing children are so good at helping me think outside of that, that box. They're like, "Mom, no, you know, uh, uh, you can do this. You can be this, mom." You, and I'm like, "Really? Okay, no, I don't really, mom. Yes, you can." Mm -hmm. And they have been some of my my biggest cheerleaders my biggest um inspiration and so I, I don't even know that i could even um frame that for you taryn that i can like okay it looks like this i just think it looks endless mm -hmm. endless endless possibilities um happiness but happiness from within mm -hmm. not something i can point to like yeah this will make me no that happiness from within and um yeah it's endless from here. So then, I mean, I don't even, like, normally before I ask that question, I'll ask like what challenges, right? Mm -hmm. Would keep that. But I don't think you really see it as, I mean, you've already had your challenges, right? Like nothing's gonna Ooh. keep you, yeah. nothing's gonna keep you from this endless possibility, right? No. Like you said, when you've, hmm. When, when 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 you've been a caterpillar mm -hmm. for, oh, for so long yeah whoo you you realize man there's there's nothing one that can kind of take me back there mm -hmm. because like wait a minute i've kind of broken out of all that like you don't even fit in right. that caterpillar shell anymore because you, you you know you've grown so much past it not that you've mastered it or you don't mm -hmm. have you know struggles or things that don't come up but wow, I, I can't go back to that. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, like, wow. And I fought through that. So, whoa, I, I can definitely get through the next thing. Mm -hmm. Not that it'll be easy or, um, you know, that I'll have it figured out. But wow, I feel like the tools that I have now, whew, I didn't have those before. So, so, what, so what are some of the tools? Sure. Woo. Um, I, the first tool is being honest. Mm -hmm honest with myself, um, honest about, about my struggles. And okay. yeah. yeah, that, that, that was, that was the first tool. It's like, wait a minute, you, you have to, you have to be open. You got to be honest. You, you have to want, 
you have to want it to be different. And okay. and those were some of the first tools um, that I learned and, and talking about it and dealing with it was like, well, you got to really want this for yourself. Like you have to really be able to see yourself out of this, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, that this wasn't the life that was planned for me. You know, sometimes when we're younger, we don't have choices then, you know, sometimes you're, you're in situations where you don't have choices. But when you are able to have those choices and make those for yourself, you're like, okay, wow, this is another, you know, way that I can get through this. Um, great, great relationships. Even if you have one relationship that gives you that hope, that encouragement, that inspiration, hold on to that, right. nurture that, you know, surround yourself with a village that also believes in you and that has been my my everything my village is amazing they well i'm telling you i i didn't do well with women <laughs> that was a that was a hard thing for me taryn <laughs> this is amazing for me because i had such a distrust from past trauma so now and, and it's like god gave me everything i needed <laughs> plus more you know with with, with the village <laughs> and that that's another great, great tool you know, to have is, is an amazing village. I yeah. I don't know what the saying is, but there's that saying, like, if you have one good friend or something, I forgot, it's like, it's like a, an actual mm -hmm. saying, you know, like about, if you have one good friend, then, you know, like, kind of like you said, like, hold on to them, you know? Um, you know, I, I feel very fortunate. I have like a group, you know, I, I probably can count on my hand, um, but, you know, I feel good about, you know, the village I have too. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but, you know, to your point, you need that, right? Yeah. You need it when you're going through those moments of what the heck is happening around <laughs> you. You, know? you are so right. You are so right. You know, to laugh, to, to cry, to curse, whatever your thing is. <laughs> you know, yes. you are so right. Pray. We're going to say pray in there. We're going to say curse yeah. in there, I guess. Yeah. Um, you know, to do it all, right? You need someone. Yeah. And then I, I myself, like you said, I mean, I just thank God every day for, for the village that I have. And, mm -hmm. you know, thank God for the, you know, I like too that you said being honest with yourself because lots of times we, you know, we think about someone else being honest to us, right? Mm -hmm. But we don't think about us needing to be honest with our our traumas and our situation, you know? Yeah. Um, and I think it, it takes a, a journey, if, if nothing else, and I'm not sure if that's the correct word, but to get us to be like honest with ourselves. And then once we are, are honest with ourselves, we can begin that process of, you know, moving forward, whatever process you call it. Some people call it healing. Some people call it moving forward. Some people call it just growing out of, you know, that phase. But I think being honest with yourself is key and your your struggles and your challenges because we all got them. So, and if you think you don't have them, you probably got more than the rest of us. So there's yep. that. Right. <laughs> you, know? so you might as well just come on over here with the rest of us because we all got them. We all you know? got them. If anybody's yeah. listening and you think you don't have challenges, yeah, we're here to tell you mm -hmm. you're different, wrong different forms yeah we got them we got them yeah um i we're probably um i don't know about 755 yeah. or 855 minutes. oh yeah. we got minutes okay yeah. i'm a little behind mm -hmm. um i have no idea guys what's going on with my phone so i didn't want to start celeste over so if you're on thank you so much for joining me this is the taryn lamb show season number nine episode number seven this is going to be on my instagram so make sure you're liking following sharing subscribing it's also going to be on youtube apple podcast and spotify so if you have been following me, um, you also know, and I tell people on every episode, do not judge because this is my show and I can say this if I want to. So do not judge me. I love cats. I know. I know, Celeste. You're like, oh my goodness. No. Um, okay. It's okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's okay. You know, they say curiosity in the mm -hmm. cats. So my last question to every guest is, what are you curious about? Ooh, what am I curious about? Wow. What am I curious about? That is a really good question. Hmm. You know, I, I think I'm curious about everything I, I am curious about everything i i am always wanting to know more 
I'm always like, oh, how do I figure this out? Oh, how do I get to know that? Even if it's not something I would necessarily do, I just, I just like to know. And um, that, that is really therapeutic for me. That is really helpful for me. Um, but, but I do. I, I'm, I'm curious about everything. I really am. Not that I'm going to do it all, but I'm, <laughs> about it. I'm curious about it. Yeah. Well, you can. You can do it all. Yeah. You, you can do whatever, like you said, the possibilities are mm -hmm. endless. Um, I think it's exciting. Yeah. Um, I'm so glad I got the opportunity to to talk with you today. Thank you. I hope, you know, I'm going to, um, I'm going to end because I know, I don't know, like I said, you guys, look, I told Celeste at the beginning, I have no idea what's going on with my phone. I have no idea what time it is and I have no idea who's here, but I do appreciate you joining me. You taking the time to join Celeste and I today. This episode will be on my um, Instagram, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. And um, I just thank you so much. This is season number nine, episode number seven. Celeste, I'm going to talk to you in just a second. Okay. I truly appreciate everybody joining me. Um, let's see. I think I'm off next week, so we're not going to have an episode next week. I think we'll be back at the beginning of April. Um, I do want to have in the summer, guys, some solo episodes where we just talk. We just talk about whatever we talk about. Um, we're, we have some still guests left for April, but then I'm going to start my summer season. I'm just going to talk. This is I, Celeste. I usually um, I'm going a little over, but I told um, my husband that I wanted to have a girls debate on LeBron versus Kobe because that's what men talk about all the time. Right. And I have no idea of either one of them specifically, mm -hmm. but I always want to know what girls think about it because guys can yeah. talk about that same conversation like for I don't even know yeah like rest in peace Kobe Bryant um so but I just like I want to know what girls think because I'm like what do we think about this is this what we think about them you know I just want to have that discussion and then I want to have this I don't drink so I want to have a discussion on um on that and all the questions I get around not drinking okay so I okay just solo episodes around like things that I think about okay in my um like but thank you for joining me i will see you guys back here not next week but the week after this is the taryn lamb show season number nine episode number seven this was celeste sharing her story i am taryn be good to yourself and each other talk to you soon bye, -bye.